morning students welcome to the online class of pratyodiga so today today here i am with one more video of narration or speech in the last class we had discussed how we change the narration from direct to indirect and also the concept of correspondence past how a narration is changed from correspondence past this is what we discussed in the last class Uh, we have already told you how simple present changes into simple past, how present continuous changes into past continuous, how present perfect continuous changes into past perfect continuous, etc. So there is one more concept regarding correspondent past is left. That is, when we change the narration from direct to indirect. If the reporting speech is simple future, then it is changed into past form of future. So before giving you the example of that, I would like to confirm a very important thing regarding this particular thing. So in simple future, we always use shall or will after the subject. Whether it will be shall or will, it depends upon the subject of the. sentence okay so this is what we use said or will after subject in future tense and when we make it past it becomes would would is the past form of shall or will for shall this is always would and for will obviously this is always would some students thought that Should is the past form of shall, but that is not true. Should is not a tense; it is an obligation. Okay, so this never comes into tense. So when there is shall, I we have to use the past form would, not should. Make thing is make this particular thing quite clear. Okay. So how simple future change into past form of future future? I will like give an example of that. The example is Robin said to Jadin, "I shall not go to school today." So this is reported verb, and in the tense of the reported verb is simple past because it is said. And this is reported speech. This is future. I shall not go. So now we have to make past form of future in this particular sentence. Robin. They will become that they in indirect space. Robin told Jatin that he would not go to school that day. So that is the last example of correspondence past. So the next thing we are going to discuss is that. So when we say this narration from direct to indirect, a lot of things depends upon the sentence. So we have varieties of sentence and reporting speech. For example, we have already given many examples of assertive and affirmative sentence. When I give you examples of correspondence past, 
that sometimes the reporting speech may be interrogative or it may be imperative, it may be exclamatory as well. So if the sentence of that, how we change narration from direct to indirect, this is what I am going to discuss right now. First, then the headline, changing of narration according to various sentences. First, we are going to discuss about interrogative sentence. So, how we change narration? If the reporting speech is interrogative, the reporting speech to the interrogative sentence hoy, the calendar in the record. First, we have to identify whether the sentence is interrogative or not. It is very easy. If the sentence ends with this particular symbol, interrogation mark that is, so that is the interrogative sentence. So before I will discuss about the changes or things which we suppose to apply in indirect narration if the reporting speech is interrogative. I would like to confirm a very important thing regarding interrogative sentence. So you may know that there are two interrogative sentences in English. That is WH interrogative. find out which one is WH interrogative and which one is yes no interrogative. So WH interrogative sentences begins with words like what, when, where, which, who, etc. So you will see the initial letters of these words are WH. In every word, you will find the two initial letters as WH. That is why they are called WH interrogative. But another important thing is that how word, how this particular word, although there is no WH in the word, still it comes in the category of WH interrogative. So in WH interrogative sentences, the questioner will ask a direct question to the person and he expects a direct answer from him. So suppose what is your name, if a person asks to a boy, he expects that the boy will tell him the name. Where are you going? So at that point of time, the questioner is expecting that the person will tell him the place where he is supposed to go. And which where, also the same situation. And when is also that. Okay. And why, how is coming the category of direct, uh, the place interrogative? Because here also we get a definite answer of that. How are you? If the person asks a question, the answer will be, I am fine, I am okay, or maybe I am not, as, uh, I'm not so good, etc. So whatever the answer is, that is straightforward and direct answer. The questioner will get a direct answer of that. But the second one is yes no interrogative. So in yes no interrogative sentences begins with like that. Can I? Will you? Have you? Do you? Etc. So such sentences starts like this. So can I? Will you? Have you? Do you? Etc. So why such sentences called yes no interrogative? Because when a person asks us questions, he can get he 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 expects two answers at the same time. Okay? It may be yes or it may be no. That means. If you ask your friend, friend, can I borrow your book for today? So you may go two answers. You may say yes or you may say no. Yes go over, no go over. You are not sure what answer you will get. So that is why such narrations or such sentences are called yes no interrogative. So sometimes the reporting space may be the base interrogative and sometimes reporting space Maybe yes no interrogative as well. So if it is WH interrogative, we have to apply certain rules regarding sending narration from direct to indirect. 
And, and if, if it is yes no interrogative, then we also have to apply some new things into the sentence. There's slight difference of sending narration from direct to indirect regarding the yes interrogative and yes no interrogative. So first, I am going to show you how we send the narration from direct to indirect if the reporting space is WH interrogative. And later on, I will tell you how we send the narration from direct to indirect if the reporting space is yes no interrogative. Now, WH interrogative like can I get indirect or yes no interrogative can I get indirect or First, I am going to tell you the definition, the things we are supposed to apply in narration if the reporting space is yes no interrogative. I will try to speak as slowly as I can. So, if possible, if you could write it down in a copy, it will be very helpful for you in the future as well. So, when we send the narration from direct to indirect, if the reporting speech is WH interrogative, then reporting verb is changed into asked or inquired. Okay? The second thing, in such narrations, we don't use any conjunction. In the earlier examples, we often use the conjunction that. And regarding affirmative and assertive sentences, that conjunction is essential. But in WH interrogative, we can't use any conjunction. Kuno conjunction use kuno noar. Okay. The second thing, since we can't use any conjunction in the sentence, so we will remove the comma between reported verb and reported speech, and instead of that. The WH word, which is there in the reporting space, will place it after the reported verb. Okay. The sentence is sent into correspondence pass, the examples which I have already uh, shown you. And the mood of the sentence is sent. It sends into interrogative to affirmative mood. That means when we send the narration into indirect, we can't use this particular interrogation mark at the end of the sentence. Instead of that, we will use full stop. Okay? That is how the mood of the sentence is sensed in the indirect space. The question to my question is, the 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 question the reporting speech to the WH interrogative. What is initial letter of the sentence around the WH sentence? If you have a reporting part of the Google, you can say it. Direct definitely is safe, but don't give it to me. Ask, not to go, and quiet reporting part of me, use Google. In a good direction of Kuru conjunction, we use Google and again, Kuru conjunction application yet no one, that they hope what you buy hope. You can't use any conjunction in the sentences. A bit of a possible key that sentence or Sentence to correspondence past to the change of both. There is a simple present to the simple past to present continuous or past continuous. It will be a key to the same of the world. Our sentence or even mood. It will be interrogation mood or full stop quarter affirmative mood or change of both. So this is the definition of changing narration from direct to indirect if the sentence is WH interrogative. So I would like to give you an example of that. The teacher said to the boy, why are you late today? So here, the reporting space is interrogative and this particular word, why, this confirms that this is WH interrogative. Okay, so as I told you, first we have to change the reporting verb. 
In direct, we have to use saying or told. Instead of that, we have to use enquired or asked. So, there may be a question inside your mind where when we use asked and when we use enquired. It depends upon the reporting speech. If the person is asked a very serious question, then we can we have to use the reporting word and word. But if the speaker asks a very casual type of question, which is not very serious, then we use the reporting word asked. So here the question which the teacher asks, why are you late today? I think it is a very serious question. Serious question but again here we can use the reporting verb and word. Okay. The teacher and word the boy. So when you use the verb and word, two preposition is automatically removed from the reporting verb. The teacher and word the boy. Why? First, you have to take the WH word why instead of that. Okay? And now, we left R U left to it. So, this particular part, we have to make it change into correspondence part. So, here the tense of the sentence is simple present because after R, we can't find any verb to support it. So, here R is not used as B verb. R is used as verb in the sentence. So, past form of R is what? Where? Okay. Why? Sorry. Yeah. Take it when I go. The new past form to R or past form where? Although we know that the past form of R is where. But here in this particular sentence, when you make it indirect, the subject will be sense. There will be no you. Because when the teacher directly asks the question, he will ask it as you. But when you go to, go to tell the same statement to someone else, you are not going to say as you. We will say about the boy. So, he become he. Okay? And with he, the past form of the verb is used in uh, was actually. Why was he late? That way. So, this is how we say narration from direct to indirect. If the Reporting spaces WH interrogative. And now I would like to tell you how we say narration from direct to indirect if the reporting speech is yes no interrogative. Can I borrow your book for today? Rahul 
মানুলে রসুল কইছে যে আজি কারে তোমা কিতাবখন মই ধারে দিব পাই নেকি তো এই কথা তো রসমির আনসার রাহলে কি পাবো পারে তাই যদি দিব বিচারে ইয়েস পাবো আর যদি তাই দিব বলে দিবি চাই তে কি পাবো আনসার তো নো পাবো এখানে ইয়েস টু ইন্টার ভেরি ভেরি সিম্পল সো রাহুল আক্স রসমি সো সে দিস ইজ ক্যাজুয়াল কোয়েশ্চেন উই ক্যান টেক ইট অ্যাজ আ সিরিয়াস কোয়েশ্চেন